Hi, uh, this is a video on introduction to balance sheets. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what is a balance sheet and how a balance sheet is used to record the business uh, transactions. And uh, as you can see, the basic accounting equation is assets equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. What do these uh, terms mean? What is an asset? What is a liability? And what is equity means and all. So I, uh, my approach I would like to go through is not to stress upon the definitions first. So we will look at the basic fundamentals. We will look at the intuition and through that we will try to say, oh, this is called assets and I think this is called liabilities and so on. So uh, let us get started. And uh, I will be discussing about balance sheets using a case study uh, on a music mart. And the basic business is like uh, you have a shop and on you purchase music CDs in wholesale and then sell it them to individual end uh, consumers and thereby make some profit. So it's that kind of a business. And uh, we will look at some example transactions and see how to record this business. This is fairly intuitive and uh, you know it, uh, how this, you have a general idea how such a thing works. So let's say John started Music Mart by depositing $25,000 in bank in company name. So uh, you can pause the video and think about uh, at every step, think about how to record this fact in a business. So this is a transaction, uh, so what do you do about it? So how to record this in a uh, form of book, I mean a form of a balance sheet that we will be seeing. So let's start it. So in this case, uh, there is a company's name you can see. So there must be a bank account opened on that company name. So how does this depositing of 25,000 in that is recorded? So it is recorded something like this. So there is a heading, uh, Music Mart balance sheet. So apparently the name of the business is Music Mart. And okay, uh, the number of transaction one, two, three is all, uh, assume that one transaction occurs on one day. So on, as on 1st Jan, uh, this is the balance sheet of the company. So this $25,000 cash is sitting in the bank ready for you to do business. So it is your asset. So under the assets column, we have $25,000. Dollars. Similarly, uh, under the liabilities, you have 25. This is the amount that the Music Mart business owns to its owner, who is John. So, this is how you record the business. So, let's go and look at more transactions. Okay. So, apart from the in initial investment, oh, sorry for the typo. Apart from the initial uh, investment of $25,000 given by John, the Music Mart also thinks that it needs more money to do some business. So it goes to a bank and gets $25,000 as a loan, okay, since it borrows. So how do you record this? Since it's a loan, it is a liability on the on the on uh, this Music Mart, so it's recorded on the right side. And similarly, the $12,500, which comes as a cash, adds to the existing uh, $25,000 so it, it will be resulting in a more cash so you can pause and think about how to record this and here is the answer so now you can see there is a one more entry under the liabilities which is loan uh, which is uh, worth 12500 and uh, the total cash now we have is 35500 so so far so good so this is as on 2nd Jan so what happens on 3rd Jan let's go ahead so company buys CDs costing uh, 5,000, okay? So as we have seen, this company is in uh, uh, trading of uh, music CDs. So first step is to purchase CDs and then sell them, hopefully for a higher cost. So now so company is having assets of 5,000 worth CDs. So how do you record this? Again, you can pause and see how to record, how do you write this in the balance sheet? And here is the, answer okay under the assets column we find a new entry called series and series are worth 5000 now whereas uh, cash entry is reduced by 5000 so what basically we did is converted one asset into another asset assets are as you know tools or means for doing the business so just with cash i can't do anything so i had purchased series worth 5000 so and on the right side there is no change as it is it's 
so let's take in see some more uh, things okay uh, we'll uh, look at some uh, some uh, theory here now first is how do you interpret the table that we just created so called balance sheet so one way is to interpret is resources versus claims so let's go up so what are the resources that music mart has uh, at its disposal it has resources of some cds worth 5000 it has resources of cash sitting in the bank so these are whatever is on the left side is its resource and who is claiming this resource the there is a bank who, who has given a loan worth 12500 so they are claiming uh, out of this resource and there is a capital amount uh, given by the owner of the company they are so this is a resource versus claims and there is one more way to interpret uh, this result which is so use of fund versus source of fund so on the left side how the fund is used and on the right side how the fund was collected so that's about the two ways to interpret the table and when we do accounting these are the uh, basic concepts or assumptions for accounting first is money management uh, money measurement sorry so in money measurement what we say is everything and anything is measured in terms of money and if certain things are not uh, able to be measured in terms of money they are omitted from the balance sheets so in balance sheet only those things which can be calculated in terms of money are included and it's an entity concept that means the owner is separate entity and the business is separate entity so uh, and the owner's accounts are maintained separately which we are not looking in this here we are only looking at the uh, business's uh, accounts and third concept is going concern where which says that we are not foreseeing a close down of this company in any near future we think that the company is running infinitely amount of time and based on that we prepare the statements and it's a cost concept uh, the the value of the series uh, which we have shown as 5000 is a cost incurred by the company and it is not the, it might its actual value might be more or less as per the market but as the company's cost it was 5000 and then finally there is a dual concept which means every entry in the balance sheet has a balancing dual entry uh, this entries come in pair or these corrections or adjustments comes in pairs so it is not that only one term is increasing and the, some other term is not increasing or decreasing or compensating with that always uh, since both has to be that's why it is called balance sheet since both assets and liabilities have to be balanced always now uh, let's uh, look at what happens if there are no business operations now i have uh, i have opened up business i have purchased some cds and this is what uh, is my current position on 3rd jan and if i don't do anything from now onwards what will happen well the values of cds will fall because uh, nobody will uh, prefer to buy slightly older cds so the value of this will fall and what will happen to the loan the loan will accumulate interest charges so and the value of this will increase so on the right side we see that the quantity is increase if you don't do anything and on the left side we see that the quantity is decrease if you don't do anything and but still it has to be in balance so where do you how do you balance it where do you balance the balance is uh, seen in the vanishing capital so if loan increases by 1000 and series worth Uh, decreases by thousand, so that means capital has vanished to account of two thousand. So if so, there this is a game that uh, we are uh, seeing now. When when you when you don't do any business operations, assets depreciate means the value of assets keep on decreasing. Liabilities compound the values of liabilities keep on increasing. Hence, uh, the owner's equity diminishes or the owner's capital diminishes. so it's all a matter of now not making your assets depreciate or or compensating your depreciation of assets and then uh, trying to balance your liabilities and therefore the survival and growth depend on owner's equity so when there is a business you look at this owner's equity or that term you will know how the business is doing so and uh, by now you might have uh, surely got some idea about what is an asset what is a liability and uh, what is owner's equity and and owner's equity can be divided into two uh, terms which is capital and retained earnings and the more about this and more uh, transactions on this we will see in the part 2 of this video we have seen just three transactions but there are altogether 16 transactions which i have in mind so we'll be doing series of videos on the same case study so uh, see you in the next video